uh, Valentine wreaths are always very popular, mm -hmm. and this is the wreath that I made, and I wanted to do something different other than putting it on the window. So I incorporated a beautiful flower arrangement. So when you go to someone's home or you want to give it to somebody uh, special, you can send the wreath. It's when really the, pretty. Yeah. Good colors too. I like the way you tied the colors. The colors right in, uh, and if you want, you could dry the beautiful roses afterwards, and you know, you keep dried yeah. flowers or press them in a book or keep them as petals for around the house and make potpourri with them. But you still have the beautiful wreath that you can hang then in your house or wherever mm -hmm. you like in your home. Now these these are the uh, what you're going to need to make the wreaths. You get a styrofoam circle like that, okay. some brushes, some paint. Uh, uh, you can get everything at Michael's. Oh, you painted these? You, oh, yes. oh, I thought you bought them like this. No, no, they're painted. The reason why I did it is because when you put the uh, hearts on, there are little spaces in between that you can see and the white so will show through. Set. Yeah. So if you uh, paint a background, you, you like the color green, so I did yeah. green for you and pink for me. It makes it look more complete. As you can see here, there's one that's green in the back, and you can see how it just clips. This one over here, guys, right there, yeah. yeah. And you can see how it, uh, let me see, there you go. It just, and you can see fills where it in between, it fills it, it in sure. nicely, and then you don't see the white shining through it. You're going to need, to do this project, you need three of these bags, and they are three, um, uh, what, <laughs> can't see it, it's seven ounces. You need three of them. I'm trying to do this without my glasses, I'm trying to be really cool. And some scissors, and the little, you know, the hearts that say, you know, okay. special, special things to it. You're gonna need a vase filled with water and some raffia, and your glue guns. Okay? That's it. Very simple. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you, and I'll give you a little trick on when you're using your glue gun, you take your little heart, Mark, you can start your... Wait, first of all, I have a big heart. I know, you have a big okay. heart, and I love your heart. I love this. This was oh, great. That, ah, it was great. Okay, so thanks, we have this. Now, you know how th when you use a glue gun, everything gets sticky? So, just glue. like that. You really? don't want that to, yeah. a glue gun, it gets sticky? It gets sticky, really? you get... I, didn't, I never yeah. would have guessed a glue gun would make things no, sticky. No, you get that like spaghetti string okay. thing. So if you do that and just, and then boom, that's and it. And then do what? Do, and then, yeah, how's there it go? go? Boom, like, boom that. like that. Okay, okay. what you want to do is you start your project I'm from... <laughs> you want to start it from the bottom, and you're going to leave a space where you're going to tie your raffia. So you, you fill in, here, let me do it over here so the camera can see it, your, with the, with the little point down, and then you're gonna go Cut. all, you're gonna keep going all the way around your, let me do another one for the camera. So could you, right. would you recommend just taking a strip of glue and going around and then placing a bunch or you wanna do um, individually? The glue gun, you have to do them individually. And then of course you just use whatever colors and and then you're gonna start, ta t um, you're going to t uh, put them on top of each other. Why does it, Here's does the, one like you that. think the glue would melt this No, styrofoam. it doesn't, it doesn't. No? And it needs to be very precise and you keep going let me do this. You keep going all the way around until you come to a complete full circle and you just keep just doing it. Now you have to leave this space, like I said, in between because you have to tie your raffia to it. It takes okay. a little bit of time, but it's fun and it's very, you know, cathartic. It's very sure. zen. Well, you can it's sit easy there with your family. kids can do this. Right, the know, kids so. can do it. Now, once you do that and your wreath is finished and it looks like this, see how beautiful that all looks? Oh, I just love that. Um, you take your vase and then you have the raffia. I tied a nice tight knot around here to make sure this doesn't move. Okay. And then you're going to take your raffia and pu put it through where this space is right here like that and that's going to help you keep it on the the vase and then we're going to just tie it. Mark if you can help me just hold it in place for me. Sure. Okay. I'm going to tie it around Raffia is a little long, but you want it to be long so it makes a beautiful flower. I mean, a bow. I'm going to tie it around like this. Okay. There you go. Is it covering? You can pull yeah. My finger there. Nice and tight. There you go. And then we there tie a pretty bow. Okay. I love Does Tony do this one? Yes, Tony yeah. does it just I'm like not, that. I'm not no, you're not Tony. <laughs> up to Tony's no, yes, level of expertise there. There you go. Okay. And then you're going to tie it on like Who that. Are you kidding? You have two daughters that oh, help you do this stuff. That's true. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do is take the scissors and just cut right there and okay. there. Right. And I'm gonna show you a little mm, secret okay. with the flowers. Here's some beautiful red roses. You see, these came from the the store, from the grocery store. We talked about grocery store flowers Those yesterday. are grocery store yes. flowers? Here's, are you kidding yes. me? Yes, here's when you buy it, it looks like this. And this yeah. is what happens after we get finished with it. So let me show you, I'm gonna let you do this is one. That... Show you a little secret. So here's yours, and what you do, is you take the petal and very gently use your finger and just push it up without uh, ripping it off the stem. Just keep pushing it, opening up gently, and then you keep you doing it. From the, like from the bottom like that. 
and you're opening up the rose petal very gently. It hurt. It's hurting. No, it's not hurting it. It's hurting. It's, I it's can not hear going, it. It's going. Oh, oh this, help feels, me. Help me, this feels Jones. good. Mark is bending me back. No, but this gives it that really expensive look, like when you get the beautiful arrangements from these very fancy places, floral places that cost a fortune for these flowers. Yeah. Then just very gently open it up, and it doesn't hurt it at all, and uh, you don't have to worry if you um, if you open oh, them you're up. You're good at that. Yeah, there, There's, there. It, it just takes opens a up. Bit of there. Oh, it just opens up. Like, it just, no, you, up. you do need a little bit of patience. And then what you do, look, I did them with all of these over here. And you just make your, yeah. we're going to use all red flowers. Let me take, are you doing it? How are you doing? That's I'm doing beautiful. Okay. Look how nice. I, oh, that's I'm beautiful. Get, I'm working. I, look, it, hey, I'm a beginner. I'm a novice at this. Look, you're going to town on that. Okay, so what you do okay. is you always do odd numbers. So By the way, one, this, two, three, four, this five. little project is yeah. on our Pinterest page, pinterest.com forward slash home and family television.